Hey guys, the TM Turbo Ranger back with another review, doing a special request from Ranger uh, Power Ranger Collector. Uh, something I was supposed to do a while ago, and I haven't, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these out of the way for you guys. Uh, right now, I'm gonna be doing the RPM Ultra Zord combination. I'm going directly from Skyrev, which the review I just did a couple minutes ago, so it should be up. If you have any questions about that, just please refer to that review and then comment if there's anything I left out. Um, I'm going to go right ahead and get started because this guy takes a while. Uh, first of all, number one thing to do, pull him apart. Just pull him apart. Devastate him in this, as a matter of fact. Pull off the train, guys. Divert him to the regular mode, which is pretty easy. Just close their mouths. That's it. Uh, pull off the hands of this guy. There we go. There we go. Pull off the... Mastodon head off the train, and then split this in half, and then take this off. So everything is in an individual piece for the Mammoth Zord, the Paleo Max, the Paleo Zord. And all three of the Zords are referred to as the Paleo Zord, so I'm just going to refer to them as, you know, Mammoth Zord, T Rex Zord, Triceratops Zord, just for. I don't want to refer to them as Japanese names, because this is the American show and the American version, so. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and refer to this Zord. Pull off the tail spinner and the wolf cruiser. Put them over to the side a little bit. Um, what else changes? The head stays the same. Uh, another thing to do just to save time is pull off this whale head and put it in the back here. There we go. Uh, first thing I would do is carefully take off the croc carrier feet. And then, realizing that there's a lot of weight here, pry this up somewhere where you could stand up against the wall so it, uses, so it doesn't break. Nothing falls apart, just to save yourself some time. Um, find the correct pieces. There are two pieces that this will be. Uh, make sure you fold the head back in. You'll see there are two pieces for this. One piece is just regular cut like that. One piece has these little circular ends cuts. That's so the tail spinner can fit its tail in there. So make sure you have them on the right side. Tail spinner will go on the crock carrier side that does not have the head. And it'll just clip in like this. Peg side up, make sure you put the ramp down. On this side, peg side up. Make sure that clip it right in there. The head will be up in the back, fold it up. Make sure you put the ramp down. Pretty simple. Then you go ahead and take the Zords. These Zord joints will go ahead and clip right into here. And what you're going to want to do is the tail spinner is going to be wheels front, tail in the back. And then you're just going to go ahead and stick him his tail in there. And eventually that'll peg together. I don't like the way he's sort of up in the angle, in the, in the ear like that. But what are you going to do? I, would, I just kind of put the ramp underneath him. Uh, next wolf cruiser, same thing except you really don't have to do anything unless you want to maybe reduce the snout and push him back a bit. Uh, otherwise that's it, also kind of inverted, but what are you going to do? Uh, put them down, move this down a little bit. Alright, uh, then you're just going to go ahead and take these feet, very similar clips to the crack carrier, and just clip him right on here. Be very gentle with it. You don't want to break it, but get a decently firm snap if you can. See, when I do this, everything always falls apart, too, which is not helpful at all. So, uh, next thing to do, the arms of the Paleo Max. There are clips on the sides of the Lion Bus. Just go ahead and this clip, and this peg will just kind of clip in here. The clip holds to 
the side very securely, but the peg doesn't, so you're going to have really wobbly arms just clipped to the side. It looks kind of weird. Nor does it hold, which annoys the hell out of me. These pegs, these thrusters, will come off the back of the feet quite often as well. Um, Triceratops and T-Rex, they just clip right here as the new arms. And they're also very wobbly and they barely hold. Sorry to say. Just go ahead and clip them in. Um, trying to think. Uh, the mammoth head. It is going to go up here in the back where the whale head was supposed to be earlier. So you're just going to go ahead and grab this guy and he's just going to clip like so. And there we go. Lost the face of the Megazord. Like that. Straighten anything that you screwed up out, which I guarantee you did screw something out. Uh, the peg off the back of the foot came off again. Put that back on. Alright, we lost the face, but put the face back on. There we go. And then you're going to take the tusks, rotate the tusks up to the front, like that. So it's sort of a weird looking face, but what are you going to do? It's kind of covered up, you can't even really see it because of this bump, but that's, that's what it looks like. Tusks, nothing really changes besides the stupid tusks coming in up the top. Nothing real special about that. Uh, last thing you're going to want to do is uh, take the bare shield thing off the back. There are two pegs in the sides right here. One of those pegs will be pegged right here. And it just sort of clips onto the side of the leg for no reason, really. It just sort of, it's there. And then the torso part of the Paleo Magazord. This is a screw hole, this is a screw hole, a screw hole, and then there's a peg, a random peg. That random peg goes onto what used to be the arm joints of the Paleo Magazord right here. And it's just... It's just, there we go, we lost the wolf cruiser, and that's it, it's just sort of there on the side. Um, that's basically what you'll get. Uh, nothing really special about it, in my opinion, I think it looks too clunky when you add them all together. You get weird things like that torso just sitting there, and the V-shield on the side of the leg. Uh, it's nice because you do have a place for everything. Um, you know, you really don't have to lose anything because everything's sort of connected. But it's to the point where it's just too much. It's the tallest one I've ever seen, probably at about 20 inches. And I don't like it too much, I'm not going to lie. The Skyrev, I can still deal with. This is too much. Um, I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 10. Is it fun to have? Would I recommend the individual Megazords? Absolutely. But stop at Zenith or Skyrev, in my personal opinion. It may, may not be yours, but it is mine. I mean, it's cool to have. You can always change it up a little bit. Zero playability, because everything will fall apart. But for shelf, if you actually like the way the Zord looks, for shelf life, it's not bad. Just stick it up there and make it look good. 5 out of 10 for the Ultra Zord itself. Individual Megazords are about 8 out of 10. That's about it, guys. Um, I'm done with all my RPM Megazord combinations. I'm going to be doing the 2010 Dino Megazord in the next couple days. Uh, until then, adios.